What's going on, everyone? Rich Lux with another Michael Kors reveal for you. Today, we have another Rhea Zip. This design of the Rhea Zip has exploded. It comes with many different colors, uh, but all the same style, basically. Uh, it comes with the dust bag. I'm gonna go into some specs. The fabric here is, I believe it's called ja Jaquar, Jacquard. I'm butchering the name, but that's the fabric lining here. It kind of reminds me of a Chanel like the uh, the lambskin with the quilted pattern feels very soft okay it has a uh, 2.3 drop with an adjustable strap and we'll get into that in a minute i wanted to pick up this backpack for y'all because i know it's summertime i know back to school is going to be starting soon and y'all gonna be looking up backpacks and things of that nature you might go camping you might go on a trip a little vacay and you might looking about getting a backpack this one is perfect for that and i'm gonna show you what fits inside I have a MacBook Pro, I have a Passport, I have an expensive camera. We're going to try to put that in there too. But going into some specs, it's a 7.5 inch in height and 6.8 in width with 3.5 dimensions. And I guess, and again, it's a Rhea and it is imported. So going into the bag, all right, this is what you see in the inside here. Let's see if I can get it some justice there. Okay. So I did keep that on there. Like I said, I just got this bag. It doesn't look that deep. It's like, it's so black, it's like a black hole. Can't even see what else is in there. Okay, the front pocket here goes all the way down to like right here. There are no pockets in here. Kind of sad, wish it had a card holder, some sort, pins, something, but they didn't give that to us this time. All right, so inside, the detail of the bag here, it says Michael Kors on one side and the other side is blank. There you go, okay? With this little faux leather type dangly thing. All right, in here, again, did not give us no type of pockets inside here for cards and things of that nature. I like the detail here of the stud. I think that looks absolutely amazing. All right, so here is that long adjustable strap that I told you about earlier. It's right here. Oops. And we're back. Just to let you know, the cat is okay. I did clean up the mess. Sorry about that. So with the magic of editing, uh, everything's good to go now. All right, so like I was talking about, the strap is really long. I have this beautiful quilted back part here. Um, I like that, you know I love a bag that has this handle right here. Like I love this type of handle, you can just pick it up and go. What I wanted to know specifically is what's inside here. So let's see what we got. So we do have a case here that we can put, uh, maybe I would say an iPad mini would fit in there it looks like. You have a key holder, key ring, and I'm gonna try to get this open here for you guys. Let's go. So yeah, I think it'll fit an iPhone. The price on this baby was, let's see, I picked this one up at Macy's recently and I've just been waiting to go ahead and do a review on it. The price is, drum roll please, $3.58. That's how much this was. And for those of you who are looking for it, if you're going to talk to your sales associate, is this is, let me get it zoomed in there. There you go, Rhea Zip. Uh, I think medium backpack and leather. That is the SKU number there. And that's 19004913642. And there you go. So that's what the info if you want to give, if you want to pick one up, can't find it. That's the info you need right there for that. And I want to go ahead and talk about what fits in this bag. So, first of all, I have a Canon camera right here. This one is a EOS T3. Pretty good size. I'm guessing it's not going to fit here. If it did, it will be sticking out a lot. But since this has all the space in here, we're gonna try to stick that in there, okay? So here we go. <laughs> all right, and there you go. So if you are a photographer, that will fit in there just fine. If you're into, uh, even if you take video with, with those type of uh, DSL raw camera type, it will fit in there just fine. I'm going to take it out. 
the next thing I'm going to try to put in the bag is a MacBook Pro. This doesn't matter if it's a MacBook or a MacBook Pro because this is the 13 inch model. Comparing it, I don't think it'll fit, man. Guys, girls, let's see. Yep, it's not gonna fit. If you have a MacBook Pro, it's not gonna fit. Yep. Looking at that, I don't think it's gonna fit at all. That is crazy. I really thought that this bag was gonna fit a MacBook 13 inch. So if you have a MacBook Air 13 inch, it's not gonna fit. I believe the uh, 11 inch MacBook Air might fit. Uh, yeah, but for what you're paying over $300, you would expect your everyday laptop to fit in your backpack. So that's not gonna happen here. So if you're in school, you can carry around one of these babies, it's not gonna go in there. And that's pretty like disheartening because I use my backpack for a lot of things and carrying my laptop is one of them. Okay, so we got a Louis Vuitton passport holder here. It'll fit in the front just fine, no problem. Um, if you have an iPad, nine, the nine inch iPad, it'll fit in there. iPad mini, it'll fit in there. If you're, a, if you're a Galaxy guy, Galaxy girl, those will fit in there, but don't put the 12.9 inch or bigger type of those tablets because it's not, it's not gonna fit in there at all. I do like the gold hardware. That's one thing that I really did love about this bag. The stitching is immaculate. I'm pretty sure it's a machine stitch. I don't think that they're handcrafted, to be honest with you. But this leather feels like lambskin. If you ever held a real Chanel and you just go like this, it feels that soft. I'm pretty sure this is a manufactured type of softness. Um, but it does say, um, if you go to the website, I think it says calf, something about calf, but I don't know, man. Maybe that's why this is expensive because it is calf, but it just feels really soft. The gold hardware here, it says Michael Kors. I'm gonna get into it right there. The zipper works beautifully. There, there's no tug. It's just a beautiful zip. And I'm gonna go ahead and go around the bag this way. And let's see the bottom. Bottom of the bag have no feet. I wish it would have had maybe like a circle with a type of thick type of rubberized plastic. Doesn't have to be like a brass or hardware. But oh well. Again, for what you're paying for it for this bag, it is nice, it does look beautiful, but we are lacking some things. We're lacking maybe some rubberized feet at the bottom. We're lacking the fact that a MacBook Pro doesn't fit in this backpack, in the Rhea. I believe this is a medium. We're lacking the fact that we need extra card holders here and some here and some here would have been nice. Even some slots to hold your pens and pencils would have been amazing, but we didn't get that in this bag. Is this bag? For you, it's not for me, but if you're a person who's, you have a small items, you know this is gonna fit for you, fit into your lifestyle, then go ahead and pick it up. Going into some further details, we do have MK, Michael Kors here on the side, 100% authentic. These are very long straps. I'm a guy, I don't think, let me see. Yeah, it fits around one shoulder, but not two shoulders. So this backpack would be perfect for a small guy, definitely a small girl, but we live in America and we're pretty big around here. So I don't think this will fit most people unless you're like a um, freshman, I don't know, even in middle school. But this is a really cool bag. I just wish it was better and had more pockets. So if you have any questions, you can leave in the comments below and uh, we'll go from there. Check me out on Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. All right, and next time, oh, by the way, I have other Michael Kors videos. I have tons and tons and tons of other Michael Kors backpack videos. So check those out too. All right.